Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. All right, the cloud cover finally breaking up across Connecticut, of course, in the wake of a heavy rain event for parts of southern New England. As expected, there was a sharp cutoff from heavy rain to very little rain, and you can see it was southeastern Massachusetts that uh, was certainly in the axis of heaviest rain, two to four inches, some totals closing in close to five inches. Meanwhile, near the Connecticut Rhode Island border, uh, around an inch, Stonington had just over one inch there, but you can see uh, west of the 395 corridor for the rest of our state, uh, very little amount, trace amounts, basically west of Interstate 91. So, uh, of course, we had all the cloud cover. We have uh, nine days in a row with uh, temperatures running below average. That's going to change starting tomorrow. But as we look farther down the line, this is the six to 10 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. There's a pretty high likelihood by the middle of next week that temperatures are going to be well above average. Uh, we're talking about highs between 90 and 95. So more on that in just a moment. If you are a fan of that heat, then you don't have to wait too much longer. In the meantime, Time. We've got 66 in our capital city with a southeast wind at 373 currently in New Haven. Again, clouds are moving out. Readings inland uh, in the 60s, 64 Willimantic, 65 in Waterbury in the shoreline. Quite a spread from 64 in Groton to 73 currently again in New Haven. And all that wet weather you can see exiting eastern New England as this uh, frontal boundary that was lurking offshore over the past several days with waves of low pressure riding along it is finally on the move making its way east, replaced by high pressure. So that's going to bring some slightly drier air for tomorrow that will also translate to a much brighter sky. Temperatures forecasting them tomorrow to reach the mid and upper 80s inland and from 82 in New London to mid 80s along the, uh, the western part of the, our state as we work along the shoreline. So there is an air quality alert in effect from 11 o'clock tomorrow morning through 11 o'clock tomorrow night for the shoreline. So certainly one of those days where if you suffer from respiratory distress, COPD, good one to spend indoors and near air conditioning thanks to some elevated ground level ozone. So here's a check of future cast as we step you through our Friday again, plentiful sunshine in the morning as well as through the afternoon. And as we take you into our Saturdays, we uh, head into the weekend looking good as well. So Saturday we'll see a partly sunny sky. I think we'll, we'll stay dry, but we'll at times see um, some cloud cover move overhead. So not an all out sunny day like we're expecting for tomorrow. Quick check of the tropics. While there are no named storms currently, nothing up and down the eastern seaboard through the Caribbean or the Gulf of Mexico. We are tracking a wave off the west coast of Africa. This is going to be moving into an environment conducive for further development. So as we head through the upcoming weekend, it could become a depression if it were to further strengthen to become a, a named storm. The next one on the list would be Fred. That would be our sixth name storm of the season. So upper 80s for tomorrow as well as for Saturday, but you'll notice an uptick in humidity over the weekend. 87 on Sunday, a chance for a couple showers as a front moves through. 85 briefly less humid on Monday. A couple showers can't be ruled out. Then here comes that heat, 90 to 95, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We could be talking about our third heat wave of the year with a chance for some afternoon thunderstorms Tuesday and Wednesday. For shoreline highs this weekend, mid 80s for both Saturday and Sunday.